Nose and tail spins on a snowboard look like this. On a training board, it's a little bit different. It's not as easy to keep sliding around. I would start out with um, doing just 180s like this. This only works again with the jib board, the slick board, because it's more slidey. So what I'm going to start with is I'm going to do a backside 180 slide on a tail press. Wind up, initiate backside, and I pressed through that position. See that? So now you'll notice I actually moved up on the mat on purpose because when you press on a tail, that's going to be the pivot point that you slide around. So you'll see I'm starting with flat feet. I initiate a bit of rotation and then during that rotation, I transition and, and slide it through on a butter. So this would be a backside tail butter spin. Now on a snowboard, you can hold that momentum and you will continue to spin around as long as you continue to change edges. What I mean by that is that with every 360, you're going to have a toe edge for half of that spin and a heel edge for half of that spin, always staying on the um, uphill edge. And you'll see that better on the snowboard shots here. So if you want to step it up and make it more tricky, you can actually try to go for a full 360 tailspin right here. The difference is you're going to have to use more rotation as you initiate. Here we go, wind up, tailspin 360. And on a snowboard, you can keep that going around. You can do 720, 1080, as long as you hold that position and change edges while you're spinning with the weight on the tail. This works, of course, front side, back side, nose or tail. I'm going to play around with a few different ways. Here we go, front side on the nose. That was a 180. Um, switch on the tail. Okay, here we go, back side on the nose. Right, and then I'm gonna go and see if we can do a full 360 here. This is gonna be a switch front side 360. It's tricky getting the 360s, it might throw you off balance. Um, great practice, great practice for maintaining balance around a stable position on the tail or the nose of your training board. This is gonna build right into your snowboarding skills. So um, even though it does kind of look a little bit corny, I tell you what, this is, these, this is my snowboard stance, this is my snowboard body position, and you're building snowboard muscles by doing that. One way if you want to step this up. Now, I'd recommend that you look, look through the jib series before you do this, but this is going to be like a, um, a, a spinning butter on the nose of my board using the jib board. <laughs> Slides a bit better on the jib board. So I'll show you that again. This one I'm going backside on the nose of my board. So I'm landing over the front foot and allowing it to slide around that position. That is a very similar feeling to how a backside spinning nose butter would feel. This is Nev Lafford from Snowboard Addiction. Our goal is to improve your writing.